Hey guys, it's Gavin, and today we're going to be starting a kind of like a series on making the Tesla Cybertruck. So I I am showing you what the Tesla Cybertruck is now. Um, it is a cool, um, futuristic truck. Um, that Elon Musk and Tesla Motors made. So there it is. So um, this will be like this. This um series will have be like three, four videos. But what we have to do first um, is get a school box. I also call it square. I don't know why. And then we're going to kind of large it. Like that. Okay. Now we're going to get a box that is a hole. And then we're going to make it thin. After like that much. And then change its angle to about there. Now you're going to lift it. And you're gonna put it on top of this. So it's like shading the, the the box, the main box, the red box. And you're gonna stretch it out, and then make it go downwards. Oops. So yeah, just make it, just kind of stretch it a bit, but not too much. And then, group them together by click, by shift clicking the red square, um, as well as the hole, and then clicking this. So there we go. So now, we have kind of created a bit of the shape, like the front of the Cybertruck. So the front, up there, and we'll make it deeper and later in the series. And now we're going to do the same thing. We're going to get another whole square. And we're going to change its angle to a different, to the opposite way we did, we did it before. We're going to lift it. And just stretch it out. Put it upwards. And just about there. And then you're gonna stretch it a bit so that um you don't leave any pieces like just crumbs you can get say remaining. And then so do the same thing now. So there we go. So mine had a little squib um piece remaining. So, I'm just gonna cover that up by getting a hole, well, a hold square, an invis square, let's call it, and then grouping them together. And that didn't work. Okay. So, what we're gonna do is just go backwards. If it didn't work, you're just gonna go back a bit, there you go, I'm just going to stretch it out a bit, and then group, there we go, so just, that's what it, your um, cyber truck should look like now, you can change the color now to like a grayish, I encourage it to be like that. And now you can just take your cyber truck to wherever you want it to be. You can make it a bit larger. So there you go. So now we're gonna make like a trunk which you can put things in. So I'm just gonna lift up. We're gonna get another box whole thing. Just get the just I'm gonna call it the box on top of the other box. To make it simpler. But then you're just going to do what I'm doing here. And try to make it, and then like stretch it out. And try to make it as even as possible on both sides here. And then, stretch it downwards a bit. There you go. And then shift click and group. And then there you go. So, we have a little trunk now for the vehicle 
So now we gotta kind of make a hole, so well, like a hole for the like the wheels to go in. So you're gonna get a um a cylinder which is like the square, it's like to the right of the um the whole square, not the solid one. Okay, so yeah, this is called a hole. These shapes, which are not, which like you can't exactly see. But you're gonna get the thing. You're gonna change its size, and you're gonna stretch it out, like about that. And then you're gonna shift click and group them together. There we go. So that didn't come come out well for me. So if that happens to you where it, it's like not a where it's like the hole, it's not it's like a full circle like just um use a cone and pull it push it downwards. So let's try again. Group. There we go. So that's what it should be looking like. So now you can click Control Z or just um backwards. And you can and just duplicate um, the hole we did just now, and then you can then just duplicate, just um, group the hole and the car together again, like that. So now we're going to do that exactly same thing on the other side. So like, you're on there. So, and then shift click on the cyber truck, and then group. And there we go. So we have two, four, I should say, holes um, where the wheels will be going. So now we're going to kind of carve out a bit of like, the window like the front window so this area so we're just going to get a hold square and um we're just gonna um get it upwards and this is basically what we did we're just going to do exactly what we did with um the trunk but this is like not as like um downwards it's not going it's not going to go that deep down so you can stretch this around that much so just you can see if that's even yep and then just shift click on the truck as well just group and um that's a bit too thick i'd say but yeah just so just control z that or just go backwards back and just like lift it up a bit lift um up and just kind of you can just change the angle a bit like five so let's see now. So there we go. And there we go. Much better. So now we can see actually that it's not even the two areas, but it doesn't have to be even, but you can do it if you want yours to be like really good. So there we go. Shift click back on the truck as well. There we go. So that looks pretty even to me. So there we go. So we'll be leaving the wheels for the next episode. Um, and like, if you like want to, like, you can try and get, replicate the lights here. Um, but they're gonna be quite hard to do. But also, you could something you could do to do the windows is thin. The, like a whole square and then 
bring it like that and kind of make it go into the truck a bit onto the side so just turn it a bit so about five I'd say minus five actually. So negative five. Yep, so that's good. And then we can push it into the truck. But just be careful to not make it go so inwards that it kind of gets the thing, so let's try about that. Yeah, so something like that. And just press Control Z there, and then duplicate, and then just take it to the other side of the truck. To around there, you could say, and then click on the truck the group. And here we've done it a little too much, so we'll just click Control Z, and we'll maybe just go down. Oop. So Control Z. So we have to just move it like slightly into the truck. Let's see about that. Group. Yeah, so there we go. And then here, you just click that, shift click that, group again. And then there we go. So that's the windows. So yeah, that's about it for the first part. Like we kind of carved out the front window. We got the trunk and we carved out the areas where the wheels will be going. And we also kind of added some windows. So whenever if you like you can just change the color to make it a bit thicker, not brown. Like, uh, yeah, around there. But, yeah, hope you enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for part two of how to make the Tesla Cybertruck in Tinkercad. Hope you enjoyed. I'm going to rename this to Cybertruck. And, yeah, hope you enjoyed. Please subscribe to Gifts Clips and check out my other channel, The Future. And, yeah, hope you guys enjoy and see you guys next time.